Good morning everyone, we're at Stockton Beach. It's uh, four something in the morning, or five o'clock almost. And uh, going for some jewfish, hopefully. We've got some mullet, we've got some bonito striped baits. And yeah, this time I've brought all my heavier gear this time rather than go light. So it's all go big or go home with the dewies. Have a chat to the fellas there and uh, they're getting a few bronzies and uh, a couple some more dewies. So hopefully my luck changes after three years. One of two bait selections I have with me is the Mighty Mullet. This is a great bait, especially when it's fresh or salted well in the freezer. Fat piece of mullet right here. Now I'm putting this fat slab of mullet on a set of gang hooks. And this just ensures that I have a lower chance of being bitten off compared to rigging them on a snail rig. So we got some bonito slab here. Chuck them on a gangy. Bonnies are such a great bait as well. Although these have been in the freezer since the middle of February, but they still should do the trick on almost every fish here. Okay, now it's a proper waiting game, guys. All right, we've got to upgrade sinkers. Just make it a bit heavier. I'm just uh, getting a little bit of sweep. So, about there. There we go. Still very frozen. Uh, nothing as of yet. No bites at all, just been baited once. Nobody's really uh, landed anything since I got here so far. So yeah, uh, pretty quiet so far. We still had bait, so let's recast it again. Bit of thunderstorm happening over that back corner. The water's warm. Just a little flick. About there. You don't really need to cast it too far at all. Fish will come on, um, they'll come right up to the beach and try find as much food as they can. I'll probably can see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people to my right. It's a solid fish. Don't know what it is though. It's either a salmon or tailor. Or a stingray. <laughs> stingray. It's just amazing when you have so many people on the beach. There's so much entertainment for you to watch. Let's check our bait. Yeah. A little bit mangled up, this fella. We got a big fat slab right here of mullet. All right. Oh, the bird. <laughs> the sunrise there, heaps of fishermen around. Yeah. Everyone's caught something. I'm just waiting for mine to uh, go off my rod. It's been chewed up a little bit, but um, yeah, nothing really took it. So I'll just um, cast it out again. Yeah, we got one here. It's not big, whatever. Oh, he's a good size. There we go. More slab baits. Hey, fresh slabs. Look at that. Not a bad size, Taylor. He's probably 35. There's our Taylor, guys. I'm too scared to put my finger in his mouth, so we'll just get the pliers. Well, mid thirties Taylor. 
or at most mid 30s. So now I've got some time to show you the rig and walk out the tailor. So I've just got a big fat lead sinker. I've got a swivel and uh, then I've got a swivel. Then I've got around about 40 centimeters of 40 pound leader with a glow bead and a set of uh, 5.0 gang hooks. So yeah, this is where I just store my sinkers. There's uh, Mr. Mullet there. He's not been taken by the birds yet. But yeah, we got uh, one tailor at least. Unfortunately, nothing else turned up. Cast after cast and rebaiting multiple times, it seemed that the bites have slowed down. I mean, yeah, this proves to you that um, early morning fishing at 4 or 5 a.m., you know, you get some stuff, but it's not always too productive. But we're at the run in tide, oh, but we're at the run out tide, so it's not the best at this beach, particularly. Not the best day, but you know, we'll take what we can get, especially, um, actually, no, no, especially. I was going for a dew fish and I got a full of Taylor, but I think we're pretty happy with uh, that little three hour session. And yeah, I'm probably gonna oh, pack up because I've got a bit of. Uh, because I got work later. So it's always good to get a fish before work and then, uh, yeah, repeat the same thing over and over again. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next episode.